This is the true story. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers. Pick to live in a guitar house. Unbox together. Demo together. Play together. To find out what happens when... People stop being guitar. And start being house. And start being house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar House is brought to you with support from Sweetwater, Diadario, Chase Bliss, and Big Ear Pedals. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. And I'm Dr. Mike. Do you want to take it again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and action. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. And I'm Mike. <laughs> Didn't you want to say Dr. Mike? Well, I don't know. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. And I'm Dr. Mike, MD. And today we're doing nut stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto's also in here. He's going to be, you know, a nurse when we need a hand with things, sopping up blood. We're going to do some open surgery on my Jaguar here, which Mike actually peer pressured me into buying. I'm an enabler, what this can I say? early 80s MIJ Jaguar. I've already swapped out the trim for an AVRI. Yes. And it came, when I bought it used, it came with AVRI, AVR, AVRI pickups in it. But other than that, I think it's stock. And the nut, um, as people can see from the overhead shot here, is is a, a whole world of hurt. It needs, it is, needs a what are they called that you put on teeth? Uh, a veneer or a crown or a braces. It needs braces. It needs braces to get it back into you know or it, it does need to be replaced. To so. follow the dental analogy, yeah, yes, let's do a this would be analogy. a full a full dental extraction and replacement. But you're not a dentist. You're a doctor. I'm a doctor. MD. I don't know what MD stands for. Medical doctor, probably. I'm not sure. This is a whole thing that I came up with last minute. I do want to say that dentists, I think you are an important part of the medical community. Thank you, I dentists. I just don't consider you to be doctors. <laughs> <laughs> you may golf with doctors, but you're not a doctor. I'm sorry. I just pissed off the dentists. I just, I just worry I about... Only one, I only own one PRS, so I don't have that many dentists in the audience. I'd, I'd like to say that... Simply because I'm appearing on camera with Ryan does not uh, imply an endorsement. <laughs> And uh, dentists, y'all are, are just fine in my book. I Thank speak, you. I speak for myself, not Dr. Mike or the whole of Guitar House. Well, this is off to a thrilling start. Let's <laughs> dive in. Now, the problem with Ryan's nut is that not only is it poorly cut, but you can see that whoever installed this or modified or what have you, um, yeah, the nut does not actually sit at the front of the nut slot, which is crucial for intonation and playability. Um, so this gap right here worries me to no end. Uh, also, I can see that it is it is rather low and worn out, and while it probably stays in tune well enough, it's doing its job, but I, th I think we can do better. The I way that I play, I've never noticed an issue other than looking at it and being like, oh, that looks bad. It does look bad. So what we're gonna do is uh, cut a brand new nut Ooh. replacement out of uh, a piece of bone that I have here. I got this from Stu Mac. Um, you and took a bone to... out of some guy named Stu Mac? I know, it was... Did he survive? <sighs> I'm sorry he's no longer with us. <laughs> uh, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this and shape it on camera, and at the end we're gonna be left with a much better playing experience. And while Mike works on that, I'm gonna do something I've always wanted to do with this guitar, I'm going to try my best to install a mute. I've always wanted to have a mute on a Jaguar. I, I'm gonna have to do, have to do drilling, huh? You're gonna have to do drilling. I'm gonna have to drill. And we're I'm gonna, gonna remove wood. And we're gonna do this at the same time, which is unheard highly of. inadvisable. <laughs> it's unheard of, highly inadvisable. Do not do this at home. We are guitar medical professionals. One of us is. One of us. <laughs> Or you play, you play one on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one of us is? What? A guitar medical professional. Is uh, how many times have you been paid for your services as a guitar professional? I don't think, I don't think we need to bring money into it. What do you think professional means? 
Well, we're gonna remove these strings, or at least detension them, so I can extract the nut. Brian, you got a little? Do you got a little smacky hammer that I could? Uh, uh, I probably do have a smacky. Hammer. I would love a little smacker if you don't mind, and uh, if you got a spare wood block, I will take that as well. For I'm I have neither. My wire cutters. And you know what? Speaking of wire cutters, perhaps mine will be heavy duty enough. Just gonna. I usually use my fretting hammer for this. Wow, that piece of wood is full of integrity. What I'm doing is I'm just hitting the nut to loosen the glue that I can see globbed on to the side. And now I'm just gonna hit it toward me. Ah, jeez, this is... Do you need a different piece of wood? I don't know, I hope that they, whoever put this in didn't use a giant amount of super glue, but now I'm starting to suspect that we've got a super glue trap. Uh oh. That was a good hit. Oh, I think that helped. Glad nice. I didn't do this myself. Did you do this yourself, Ryan? You can tell I did me. not. I did not do that. This is a safe space. I would tell you. You know I would admit it if I did a dumb thing. Oh man, this is do you this need is a, it's really in there. It's really in there. A chisel? Maybe. Well let's let's see if I can. I'm working very carefully because if something's really in there and you start hammering too furiously, you can actually knock this part sure. of the fretboard off, which is not good. It's easily repairable, but it's not great. My god. This. That'll work. That is a fret puller. That's puller. a fret puller? That's a fret puller. We're going to use a fret puller to extract the remnants of this nut. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, nurse. <laughs> Uh, yep, just the top. Look at, this is a mess! What's great about this video is that you're gonna hear all of the stuff that I just say to myself at home. This is a mess. They flatten the nut slot. Likely to accommodate a nut. That, that doesn't is not belong curved. in there? Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm gonna put this back together and do some CSI. I mean, when the nut's not right, then you modify the guitar, right? Around yeah, you to modify. fit the nut. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you always do it. All the big ones, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You don't get a different, you know, four dollar piece of bone. Jeez. You you modify the guitar forever. Yeah. You don't do what I was going to do and put sandpaper in front of the first fret and then sand to the correct radius. No, of course you don't do that. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Uh, that's you. You did that. You made that happen. You did it, doctor. You did it. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm gonna have a think about what my next course of action is. Um, so you can see that because they flatten the slot, that exposes the maple beneath the fretboard, which would also be curved, given this is a Japanese guitar. So the fretboards are curved just like they were in. Uh, uh, post 62 Jazz Masters and Jaguars. So instead of a curved slot, we have a flat slot. Now, do I have... All of my blanks are curved. Do I have a blank that will actually work in this guitar now? There's no way that I thought <laughs> that we would need... No one could be prepared for this. No one could be prepared for this. Or, if this were happening in my own personal workshop, I would open my drawer and get a different blank. But, ah, I didn't think to bring those, did I? Did I, Ryan? <laughs> um, can I take this out? Probably. Do you know how to? Don't cut yourself. Be careful on camera. I can get a different one. I would love a different one. Can I get a different one? We're going to try and flatten this slot a little Fresh bit. Fresh scalpel. This is orange juice and ginger ale, and right now, <laughs> it ain't doing the trick. Oh my god, the crunch. Please, if you're, if you plan to use a, 
a little bit of super glue to secure the nut to your neck. Please only use like a tiny dab. You a, do not need to fill the slot. A drop will do. Um, and better yet, there are, there are glues that I prefer to use, such as uh, wood glue. Just a, a tiny dab of wood glue is plenty to hold in a nut. <sighs> because you're not going to have a huge amount of lateral force on most guitars, but... Ugh, this is... Ugh, this is outrageous. And I also neglected to bring my... Uh, to to bring the um, the file that I have ah. for flattening out nut and saddle slots. So we are, we are. I have a real. cheap set of files. Let me see your files, bro. Oh my God, this crunch. Jaguar Nut Crunch is my favorite cereal. That's one of those uh, cereals you get in the bottom shelf, right? Yeah. Do we have an appropriate, you, this is a squared off file. It's just, it's undersized, but I think this might do the trick. Is it curved? It's a little curved. We're going to use... Dr. Mike is doing side. triage in the field right now. This is like... It is, it is indeed triage. You are like a, like a battlefield doctor. You know, triage is the reason that I don't, I don't usually go out on tour with bands, is because I like to be the guy who you bring the guitar to you after tour and I, I mm. get to repair things the, the good way, the proper way. Instead of like, when you're on the road, the whole point is to keep the show moving and you do things that you wouldn't recommend generally, like filling a nut slot with, you know, a piece of foil or something, whatever it takes to keep the band working. Um, but obsessive compulsive disorder being what it is, I can't, uh, can't quite live with it. Can't hang. So my friends who do Tech work on the road are heroes. Nothing short. I'm checking, checking the flatness of the slot on that side. It's a little misshapen over here. You know what's great about this video, Ryan, is that recently I I have filmed a, a nut video of my own that went so smoothly, and I said, "Well, we're gonna make one at Ryan's thing. Maybe I just won't publish mine." But now. With how off the rails this is, I see the value. I mean, some, some people prefer smooth nuts, some people prefer rough nuts. I always, I always try to high polish mine, whenever possible. Check that bit. That's the right size, right? That's the right size. Uh, I got a question for you. Uh, how are you going to keep the drill bit uh, level? I have a terrible reputation when it comes to drilling holes in guitars. So I have no idea. I think normally we'd use a drill press and a brad point bit, but you know what? I don't have those things. You don't have those things. I could try my very best to drill a pilot hole as close to the middle as I could. Yeah, and... drill, drill a pilot hole. <laughs> Is it safe? What a strange sensation to be working on a guitar while someone else is also working on the guitar. We need one more person working on this guitar. Someone needs to be like adjusting pickup heights or soldering something. Right. <laughs> yeah, doing a pickup swap on the other side oh of the table. God. Chaos. We're all Pure. just working feverishly to save one guitar. <laughs> Wow, the slot is so misshapen. Boy. Now, if you have the time and the resources, would you try to reshape the slot? Uh, with the, the wood removed the way it is, I could theoretically inlay it. I could get a flat piece of rosewood, inlay it, recut the slot. Is it worth the time and effort? It's easier to just get a proper unshaped bone blank and put it in there. Gotcha. Um, plus, I mean, you have to weigh the benefit. What is the true benefit of inlaying wood? Going to that trouble, shaping the wood, cutting it down, trimming it, router. Yeah, that feels like more expense than necessary. Right. This guitar is cool um, and it has its market. So maybe it's worth that, but I, I think to the player, there's not a lot of sure. real benefit. It would be an improvement only for me or any future tech. All right. You did real good. 
That's probably the best drilling I've done in years. That could have gone so bad and been so embarrassing with Mike sitting right here watching me mutilate a guitar with a drill. I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yes, you would have. Later. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did I did I fit? So it's fit. Yeah, it's fit on both sides. I think we're gonna sacrifice this to see. Because I think that's I think that's plenty of height. So if I can just take a little bit off, flatten the bottom, I think we'll be okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking which side is treble and which side is bass because I've got a fit that I really like. And, uh, just like a real doctor, my handwriting is atrocious. It should, okay, so when you insert the plunger, it should go all the way down to the body itself. It should essentially be flush with the top of the body. Okay. It should look like that. So it needs to be deeper. It needs to be deeper. Okay. I am just rounding over the edges of the nut. This blank. is why I don't work in medicine. All right. You know, there's a type of doctors that accidentally leave, you know, like calipers inside a patient. I'm the I've heard of those doctors. I'm the type of doctor that would leave like a like half a California burrito inside of a patient. <laughs> oh, how'd that get in there? What's that? <laughs> Say, saying it out loud feels funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> this nut is really tight. <laughs> it's a tight nut. All right, what I've got here is this nut string spacing tool from Stu Mac, which is what I often use to uh, plot out the spread of the strings as they exit their tuners, flow over the nut toward the bridge. And so I like to make sure that I'm choosing a spacing with plenty of space on both sides for the strings to exist and not fall off the fretboard. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and usually I use the original nut to tell me, to tell me what we're working with, but sadly we don't have it. So um, do those markings uh, increase in increments? As they you... do, they do. Uh, as you go toward base, spacing gets wider for wider fretboards, different types of instruments. Mm. Uh, and gets even wider still on the other side, which okay. I've never used that other side. You usually live right about here. And so what you want to do is find one that you think is going to work. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see that some are long, some are short. So you can just say one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is far too skinny. So we're going to move a little bit more toward this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably still not wide enough. Try that. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a little closer. Now I did bring an old nut from my 63 neck that I did a while back just to see what we're working with. And it looks like both necks are really about the same yeah. width. So I might just use what I've got going over here. So if I look... That looks about right. What do you think, audience? You feel like that's pretty close? This makes working on Floyd Rose is so much easier. <laughs> Floyd Roses get such a bad rap. I'll admit, I used to be one of those techs that charged more for working on Floyd Roses, oh, yeah. but I don't anymore because they're they're no more or less complicated, really, than yeah. what I do with offsets. So my my first electric guitar had a Floyd on it. Mm -hmm. And it was a steep learning curve as a new guitarist to try wow, to figure your it out. Your first? My first. Ooh. I wanted that maximum wiggle stick because of course <laughs> I did. But I figured it out eventually, and yeah, I, I feel totally confident working on a Floyd. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's a balancing act. You know. Truly. Floyd Rose was my ultimate guitar when I was 15, 16. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got an 
RG550 in Desert Sun Yellow. Ooh, Beautiful guitar. Oh, that's such a good color, yeah. too. Oh my gosh. Uh, 80s, 80, 87, 88. <laughs> I, I forgot to buy a tuner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so for the next, for the next few years, I was setting up my Floyd Rose using a tuning fork. Oh my gosh. That is <laughs> oh so my old school. Yeah. How did you survive? Well, I got really good at setting up Floyd Rose. <laughs> With a tuning fork. With a tuning fork and sharpening my ears too. You know, like, that is so I'm impressive. of the generation that we had the quick tunes as the tuner. And then right when I started becoming the age where I was like gig ready, the TU2 came out. Ah. And like, I was, I'm of the first tuner pedal generation. Okay, so the tuner when I was starting out to get was the TU12. That was like the the, 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 one, the, the, the needle the re rectangular thing mm, with the needle. Yeah. Yep. And then the Korg GA5 came. That was the first LED light uh, tuner. And then, but it, it didn't have chromatic. <laughs> <laughs> and and we were playing in flat tuning at the, uh, at the time and it didn't have the flat function. Oh man. So we tuned just until barely the uh, the first LED lights up. <laughs> and that would be, that would be our E flat. With those old quick tuners, uh something I figured out early on is that cuz they had an input uh jack and an output jack so you could technically put it in Yeah, in your in your chain. What I figured out is because it had a microphone built into it. If you just plug into the output, you could use it as a microphone. <laughs> That's oh, cool. I know! I never thought of that. <laughs> right. I annoyed my neighbors a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna very gently rough in my presumed string locations. So what I'm doing right now, Doctor Mike, is doing? I'm I need to open up this hole a little bit, but not so much that it requires the next step up in a drill bit, which I do not have. Mm -hmm. um, so I've coiled up a piece of rough sanding paper and I'm just kind of manually oh yeah reaming it out have done with have a done piece of sandpaper this wrapped up that works that works beautifully it's already feeling better it's slow but I tend to make it's slow mistakes Ooh. faster with power tools no but for real is is there a pencil around do you have any pencils? yeah yeah, yeah. let me, let me think, find something I don't for you. think I brought one which is a, 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 a big boner move on my part. Garage Dad! Garage Dad! With Garage Dad tools! He is a dad with the garage! And that seems good. Good. I'm, I'm glad you're here to do this with me. <laughs> I'm glad too, this is fun. This is a very weird, fun way to do this. Alright. Wow, are you sure that's, that's okay? I think that'll be it's enough. It's not popping out. Here's your next, here's your next job, and then we'll put the vibrato. Oh, did you get rid of the strings already? I did. Okay. I cut well, them off. I, I, want, I intended to put new strings on here anyways. Okay. Well, we'll use the new strings to finalize the slots. Wait, is this, this is the original pick card. Yeah. That's the original card. The OG. The OG PG? Is that lined up? <laughs> Do you know what the medical equivalent of this is? Do we malpractice? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> we're doing, we're like doing cheek implants or something like something. Oh, it's definitely cosmetic. It's cosmetic. I mean, it is functional, but. Oh, you need cheeks. Gotta have cheeks. Cheekies are the money maker. I hope this not works. <laughs> It'll work. It's gonna have to. It's gonna work.
I can't believe, I can't believe they flattened the bottom of the slot. <sighs> what a cardinal mistake. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Coyote. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm stressed the hell out. Thanks for asking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault, Mr. Coyote. It's whoever this animal was. <sighs> I'm just looking for a roadrunner. He went that away. Ah. Or that away. It's easier to exit stage right. <laughs> Man. Dad, we have tools in his dad garage. Dad garage. I did think that this would go a lot quicker than this. I'm, I did too. I I'm really sorry, did. Mike. But it's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Okay. Oh, now it's too low. Pull those back up a little bit. This one, particularly. Pull this one back up a little bit. There we go. Way less Is intentional. Is that acceptable? That's acceptable. Okay, it's acceptable. We'll figure out the balance of it. Yeah, yeah I've got the rest of my in, life to dial it in. You got the rest of your life. A long and happy life. Still, you know what, Ryan? You might need, you might need to shim the neck a little bit more because this bridge is not making contact with the okay. bottom of the thimbles. But let's, let's not worry take about care that of that later. Let's not worry about it now. First, let's pop some strings on I know how to shim a neck. I can do that on my own time. This is what happens when people stop being guitar and start being, being house. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsor, Daddario. Daddario. Daddario for the strings. Oh, absolutely. And these are the new XS coated string. Yes. They feel super duper slippery. I gotta say, this is all such an unorthodox way of doing this, but I'm having a blast. One of my early mistakes on taking care of my own guitars was a couple times in a row I didn't put enough lines on my unwound strings. Mm, and, yeah. you know, when you're young, a $5 set of strings is a lot of it's money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I have been there. And nothing makes you sick to your stomach as a teenager who bought $5 sets of strings like having your E string slide off the tuner after you already trimmed it too short because you didn't give enough wines. And that's a mistake I don't make anymore. That's good. You've learned from your mistakes. I have learned from my mistakes. Why yeah. haven't I learned from other mistakes? <laughs> <sighs> the age old question. I too I, suffer. I did successfully drill a hole in a guitar body today though, without mucking it up too much. Actually impressive, Ryan, you genius. Don't encourage me. <laughs> <laughs> Was it this high before we put the mute on? Because if the answer is no, we should take the mute off. Yeah, we should take the mute off. I'm telling you, because we want we want to make sure this nut is cut for your preferred action. Sure. And if the action is too high, there will be a tendency to cut a little shallow. I don't want to do that. This is why we don't do things at the same time, I think. I think we've all learned something today about process. Good, that still has plenty of height. That's a little higher. We always want to move incrementally. We want the string to be too high and bring it down because you can't add material. Right. You can, you can use baking soda or bone dust and super glue. Doesn't doesn't always feel the same. Doesn't always work the same with a trem guitar. So that's you know that's last resort stuff. Last resort. Yeah. Last resort or in a pinch, uh, all fine. 
But if I can, I'm always going to choose to cut a new nut in that event. All right, that looks much better. All right, we are dead on for a comfortable nut experience. Well, you want your nut to be comfortable. You do want your nut to be comfortable. Uh, Ryan, what are your neck preferences? Do you like a, a wide nut? Do you like a skinny nut? What's your thing? Do you have a thing? I don't think I have a nut preference. Hmm. I just take them as they come, you know? I certainly, certainly prefer them slimmer, on the slimmer side. Was that enough of an entendre to be a double entendre? I don't know. I mean, it's an entendre, but <laughs> double? <laughs> let's not get, uh, let's not get cocky. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get cocky when I'm much. talking about, you know, you know, taking my nuts as they come. Come as you are. Okay. I mean, tone, G tone is stored in the nuts. Mm -hmm. Uh, G and B need to come over just a little bit more, I think, and we still we still have plenty, still have plenty of height. What I'm doing is I'm just attacking it from the side, bringing considering, the side over a little bit. Considering we flew in Mike for this event, this is the most expensive tech work ever. <laughs> I'm chewing up so much of his time to make this video. You may indeed be correct. <laughs> I'm so sorry to everyone else waiting outside the room to film in here. God. We're an hour and 20 minutes into this. Oh my god. What have you done? I didn't do anything! The, uh, the royal you. Everybody. It's everybody's fault. Well, two different people have contacted me over the years to tell me that they were previous owners of this guitar. I'm putting it on you guys. What somebody, did you do? What did you guys do? Somebody did a bad, bad thing. So your fret height is about 0.034 inches. And now, actual tools to actually do the job correctly instead of eyeballing it the way I do everything. Look! Look how nice that is. Look how nice that action is. Oh, baby! That's how you do that. That's amazing. We're gonna make that slot. Real nice. That actually actually sounds perfect. If I was to buy these these spacers in the files, what what would that cost? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> I don't remember what they cost. Oh, uh, but uh, you know, uh, this this company is not a sponsor. No, no, that's fine though. You can mention non-sponsor companies. Stu Mac. They sell Stumac. everything. They sell all of it. You want it? They got it. Stu Mac. Proprietors. Yeah, hold that body for me, bro. This nut is so shallow. So same thing on the low E. What's the front of the nut called? Don't remember. But the string comes from the its face tuner. Of the nut. From its tuner, the nut rises to meet and it flows over a perfect point. Hmm. And that's what we want. How do you feel about that? That's a little bit better, I think. Could be lower probably, but. We're gonna do the rest of the strings and Feels then come good back to me. around. And then we'll come back and, and balance we'll it. Come out, around, you know, we'll we balance. To. We'll do a little balance. Uh. I'm sorry, this was a bad idea for a video. I'm never making a video ever again, ever. <laughs> this is it for me. This is my last hurrah. Thank you, YouTube. I appreciate you. Goodbye forever. Watch it. Get like no views on it too. Probably not. Who's gonna want this? <laughs> this very specific video. I know. Oh well. Hey, we have it. If you don't want to release this, fine. But no, I'm gonna. Re I release everything. Are you kidding me? I don't have a filter. I can't afford to not release something that I filmed. If you got autos, get in the zone. We're close. We're so close. We gave up on the mute. We're all. We're close on the net. Really? Just, it I thought was, that went well. The, the neck needs to be shimmed to accommodate Ooh. it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that on my own some other time. But, okay. we, but he yeah, but it's prepped. It's prepped. He guided me on how to drill the hole and you know, it's ready to go once I shim the neck. So okay. we're not gonna worry about it because this is a long ass video. <laughs> and I did not, we did not intend for it to turn out that way. Yeah, Mr. Coyote made an appearance too while we were going. Mr. Coyote?
<laughs> Out of the insightful conversation with the mic here. It's not a race. But if it was, do you think you'd be winning? <laughs> At the front of the nut, I'm going to round the top ever so slightly so that if you get too close to it, you're not going to feel mm. it. You're not going to notice it's there. It's going to be... It's not going to hurt my little hand. My little fingies. Oh, no. My name is Ryan. I have little fingies. They hurt all the time. <laughs> I'm delirious. I, I'm delirious from this job. I touched my nut and it made an owie. <laughs> <sighs> God. <laughs> this is this is it. This is a me. good video. Is this a good video? I think this is a good video. Tell Hit us the like the button now. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this into three parts. Oh my god. Everyone's gonna watch all three parts. The first part is gonna just be the doom that I was feeling, like the the defeat of the nut slot. I cannot believe somebody did it like this. What a poor decision, I'm sorry. If you did it, please explain yourself. I would love to know what you were thinking here. My God. I just, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> We've been in surgery for 13 hours now. I don't wanna be a tech anymore. I think I'm done after this. So right now I'm just rounding the nut over. I Which I'm sure Mike. you can see. Yeah, yeah, Mike is dead. I broke Dr. Mike. He's going to become a uh, blueberry farmer now. No nut cutting and blueberry farming. That's well, so if true. I, if I make you coffee, you'll still set up my Jaguar, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will, friend. For you, Perfecto's coffee is unreal. It is so good. I've never had coffee as good as Perfecto's coffee. It's still not perfect. It's still not the perfect nut. It's way better than what was on there, Ryan, but it's not oh, the perfect you. nut. This, oh, this experience. Doing this shit on camera, mm -hmm. sobering. Sobering, humbling. We're sober, we're humble, and both of those things are not good feelings. <laughs> Very bad feelings. Overrated feelings. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Do not recommend it. Drunk uh, and cocky is the way you want to be. <laughs> That's the way you want to go through life, I guess. <laughs> uh. The more you know. Sharing and growing. Hey, what what glue do you have, by the way, Ryan? Do you got any, uh, Ooh. any good, good glue? Or are we, are we using super glue? I don't even know if I have super glue. Uh, I've got wood glue. I could go check my I'll wife's take, junk I'll take, drawer. I'll take tiny secret. dabs of wood glue to hold this in. Sharing and growing. I'm going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. This, this ain't my best work. This went off the rails. On camera, which is interesting and fun. But normally, if I had had the chance, I would have walked away from this for a little bit and really thought about the proper course of action, but making a video, people are waiting, we're on camera, you know, it felt like the right thing to do was just roll with it. I think given the option, I would, I would gladly take Ryan's neck home or have him send it to me and I'd build a proper nut. I would probably even fill in this slot because I'm starting to think that I just can't let that go. Well, there's so always a next time. There's always a next time. At the next guitar house. When we waste two more hours working on a guitar. I'm... I'll wait until you ask for the glue, Dr. I, I'm so close to the gluing phase. It's just, you know, I, man, I take a lot of pride in my nut work and I just. I like that you didn't even take the wet dry out of the package. That's just easier to hold like this. I, I totally get it. I like it. That's why I said I like it. So this is, like I said, I like to usually bring them to a high polish. I'm not going to be able to do that today, but the 2000 will get me close. Hey! hey how's the patient doing? Oh, man. This patient put up such a fuss. Oh, such a fight. I hope they have insurance. Oh, nah. Uh, this is $8,000. Oh, there's a deductible. Uh, it's $7,599. Oh, no! Right. You did this out of network! Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> 16, I'm from 000. Seattle. Yeah, a little bit more. I hope this nut works. God, it's this gonna is, work. This it's is, gonna work. By the way, Mike, do you mind if I do a review on your guitar? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> you want to know what's wrong with it? I'll tell you everything. Oh no, no, I'm gonna. Well, like that would be cool. And then I'm gonna snag a couple of your guitars. Do it. And go upstairs. Do it. Uh, Grab whatever you do. Anything. Do, just don't end my career. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I promise. I promise. I won't. <laughs> but oh man. Wow, you guys are... I want to play that when it's done. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. No, it's almost there. So, with micro mesh pads, I'm able to go from 1,500 all the way up to 12,000 grit. 12,000 grit? 12,000 grits. Uh, yum. Uh, but with this, I've only got 2,000, and I've got 400 sandpaper. I don't think there's anything in your drawer that's... No, there's 800, not. 800, 1,000, so I wasn't able to bring it to a high shine. But... This will work. Let's put some glue on there. Give me, give me a dab right here and a dab right here. Dab on them, if you will. Perfect. Go, you know what? Go ahead and just spread it on the bottom. Let's spread it like jam. This will be perfect. They're speaking my language. Oh, jam is so good. And we're just going to slide this into place. Uh, quick question, Dr. Mike. Yeah. How's my dab? That is an excellent dab, sir. Dabalicious. All right, well. Yabba dabba do. I hope you all have enjoyed a front seat to the final, final thing I will ever do as a tech. Because <laughs> this guitar has broken me. Oh my gosh. It's, a, it's like a Dr. House situation where he needs to go ride roller coasters and Tell someone that it's not lupus, and then come back and, and ask if it's still lupus. Right. And you'll you'll come you'll come back and have a bright idea, and everyone will oh. be like, he knew he figured it out. Doctor House always figures it out. Uh, do you have a little bit of uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, steel wool. I would love a little steel wool to I just do. clean up. It appears that my feeler gauges have left just a little bit of an impression. I bought that for showing my son nine volt batteries. I'm sorry. What? What do you mean? You don't know about that? I don't know what you mean. You can make steel wool catch on fire with a 9-volt battery. What? Should we do it like Mr. Wizard? Let me see if I have one. This nut was so low. I'm... Oh, give me a little bit of conditioner. You got some condition? Oh, it's out in my thing. Yeah. Hold on here. Let's see if this has any juice. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah. How, how much is that going to burn? Please don't hold it over the neck. Until it's done. Okay. It'll be done soon? I hope so. <laughs> oh boy, I smell it. Yeah, it's stinky. This is wild. Here. I'm not good at chairs! <laughs> Zero days. Since a workplace accident. What if I did fall and crack my head open right now? I would I would loom over you and go, told you so. <laughs> I'm not that kind of yesterday. doctor. There we go. What is this? Hydrate. Hydrate. It's for the fretboard? Ooh. The Dario kit, guys. They uh, didn't send this for the sponsorship. I just have it because I like it and I use it. Oh, that's nice. That will do. Let's Ooh. Just hydrate that board. I'm just gonna. Put it over the strings because the guitar has broken me. Oh, they're coated strings. Now they're they coated strings. A little strings. extra oil on them. All right, a little extra oil. Boy, this was this was an ordeal and a half. Well, I'm glad you were here with me for it, Mike, because I would have given up and failed so much quicker. You know what I'm going to do for you? What are you going to do My for last... Me? My last job as your tech today. I use my favorite string lubricant ever. Oh wow, chapstick, Burt's, huh? Burt's Bees. I love this stuff. Just a little bit on the strings. Wipe off the excess after they're in their slots. Loosen the E. But I'm I'm feeling that these strings 
could benefit just a little lube. So we're gonna do. Also, it, it you know we're in the springtime, but sometimes it's a little dry around here, and the, the nut might get a little chapped. Uh, <laughs> Posts go through. Ah. Um, Ryan, would you would you pick this up and tell me how it feels for you? Is it acceptable after the hell that we've been through? How do you feel? What are you thinking? Is that first position still squirrely? Does it need to come down? Do you feel happy with it? Are you sad? Do you have a frowny face? Yes, sir. I like it. Well, here let's. I'm, I'm glad you said that because if you said you weren't happy, I was I was gonna peace out. Grab, I was gonna call a, ca a taxi. Grab me the end of the cable down over here. I mean, it feels great. Oh, good. I'm relieved to hear that because I told your audience that it did not inspire confidence. Uh, that's none of the none of this is on. Why not? Well, I don't know. There we go. Turn off the tuner for me. And brand new strings too, so. And brand new strings. All right, here we go. Back into tune pretty well. It feels exactly the way a guitar should. I'm not noticing anything because you shouldn't notice anything. It should be a thoughtless experience. Exactly. Though. It's totally thoughtless. I'm thinking nothing. Two hours off. I know, an hour and 46 minutes to make this video. I'm so sorry that you guys had to watch the 15 minute edit or however. And I'm sorry that we had to live through it in real time. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone in the guitar house waiting to use the room. And I'm gonna install the mute at another time. I have to shim the neck to make it work. Um, but I'm gonna make that happen in another video. Anyways, thank you, Dr. Mike. I quit. I'm sorry, Dr. Mike. <laughs> I'm out of the practice. You did consent to this video. I asked you if you wanted to do it, and you said yes. I was, was excited about it at one point. It was enthusiastic <laughs> consent, I'll say that. And and now, I wish I could go back and We probably, it. once you saw the nut was glued in super bad, we probably should have done some like, let's we do should something. We should have nixed something else. it. We should have nixed it, yeah. but we powered through it. We should have Stevie nixed it. Uh, Ryan, if at some point you're not happy with this, you can have it redone by somebody. I, I won't be <laughs> upset. This, the nut slot issue. I no, it's, yeah. it looks great to me. It feels just fine. I mean, if I'm I'm not super picky, but if, if I find a picky issue, then I'll figure it out. I'm I'm pro I'm probably also super picky. I am so used to doing this that there are things that I wish right. I could have done better with this strap. But it does it does sound good. It sounds good. If it you're feels happy, great. I'm happy. Play That's mini. what I like. Play mini. It's staying in tune. That's what matters. Yep. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> go, go, go click on all the links for the sponsors and go watch all the, all the other channels. Hi, Mr. Coyote. Mr. Coyote. Yes? Tell me something positive about life. You did a really good job on that nut. Thank you, Mr. Coyote. Hi, Mr. Coyote. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Just one more. <laughs> Alright, it's always one more with this guy. Bye everyone, stay grounded. <laughs> Next time on Guitar House. I don't know man, I wouldn't call this purple. Okay, there's a lot more purple to this. I honestly don't know what's happening. We're all camera-loving narcissists around here. I knew it was going to turn out just fine. Is there going to be a blooper reel? That's what I'm